You know we got a lot of people that are doing their own thing. Amen. And they're doing it under their statement, the Lord told me to do it. <clears throat> okay. If the Lord, here's the thing. If the Lord told you to do it, he's going to give you some backup to do it. In other words, another way of putting this is that if God told me to do it, he's going to give me the resources. He's going to give me the favor. He's going to give me the goods. He's going to give me the plenty. He's going to give me the more than enough. He's going to give me the ability. He's going to give me the mindset. He's going to give me the oath that I need to accomplish what he's called me to do. Y'all with me today? In other words, you're not on your own no more. Understand your purpose. Work the process. And watch how it functions. Welcome to Kingdom Life Ministries International of Elizabethtown, Kentucky, headed by senior pastors Dr. Ray and Lillian Romero. We are pleased to present our weekly Sunday service in its entirety, for all those who may have missed the opportunity to view our live broadcast on Facebook. Today, we are blessed to have our senior pastor Dr. Ray Romero as our featured speaker. So without further delay, let's proceed to our service already in progress. Hallelujah, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Welcome today to Kingdom Life Ministries International. Hallelujah, in Elizabeth, Kentucky. My name is Pastor Delilian Romero, my husband, Dr. Ray Romero, and I been pastoring here now for 16 years in Elizabethtown, and we praise God. I, just a little backstory: Pastor Ray and I met during Desert Storm here in uh, Radcliffe, Kentucky. My reserve unit was on active duty, and I went to Fort Knox, met Pastor Ray. The third day I was on active duty, he um, told me he was going to marry me, and here we are 31 <laughs> years later. Glory to God. Four grown children, and I praise God for the timing, and here we are now, here in Elizabeth Street, uh, Elizabethtown, right down the street, I started to say, from where we met, and now we're in a different army, we're in the army of the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to God, and we thank God for the victory, because we're on the winning side, and Amen. we will not lose as we trust in the Lord of Jesus Christ, Amen. so we want to welcome you, and say good Sunday morning, right? Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Good, yes, good, sir. good Sunday morning. Happy Hallelujah. Sunday. Yes, I'd like to just open up in prayer, and uh, we praise God for all those that are out of town that are doing different things. We pray that the Lord God is blessing and keeping and protecting people as they travel and wherever God has you. Amen. Yes, Our, my word today in my Bible on my phone is, Thou art my hiding place. And my shield. Amen. I hope in thy word. That's Amen. Psalm 119. Psalm 119 being the longest psalm in the, the uh, Psalms. 119 verse number 9. I do believe. Is that right, Brother Jimmy? Yep. Glory to God. He is, uh, he and I are on the same page for reading it. And uh, it says, uh, he is our refuge. Yes. Our very, and I think about his, our very present help. Present. Right we don't have to ask no. him to show up. Right we don't have to make reservations for him to show up. No. We don't have to schedule it. Amen. No. He is our very present present help, help right in time of need. So I want to encourage you as you go through your life, as you go through your day, glory to God, whatever it is, know that your help is there with you. And all we need is to speak. Abba Father, I need your help. So I want to open this up in prayer. Amen. Glory to God. If you're going through anything right now, I thank you. I thank, thank you. the thank Lord you. that we are here today. Yes. And he is our very present help in time of need. Yes. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your many blessings. I thank you, Father God, for what you have in store for us this day. We yes. thank you, Father God, that your mercies are renewed daily. We thank you, Father God, that you go before us. And you're our rear guard. You're our protector. Father God, I thank you right now, dear Lord, that you are our way of escape out of every situation. Yes. And Father God, we thank you that you are more than able to uh, help us in any situation. And I think I'm praying this right now because I don't want anybody 
caught up or stumped by anything going on in your life right now, I want you set free so that you can believe God to hear the word and receive what God has for you today. Father, I thank you that you are our provider. You are our uh, banner. You are our giver of life, the sustainer. You are the one who gives every good and perfect gift. We praise you and we magnify you yes. as we yes. meditate and know yes. that yes. you are our very present yes. help yes. in time of need. Yes. We glorify you this day. We thank you for what you have in store for us. We thank you, dear Lord, that we can do all things through Christ all who strengthens us. Yes. And we thank you, Father God, for your hedge of protection around us. We speak Psalms 91 over everyone yes. uh, listening, yes. everyone that's uh, in the service today. We thank you for protection. We thank you that you are more than able to meet every need in our lives as we give you praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. As we glorify you. Thank you. Amen. Open our hearts to hear what you have for us today. No hindrance, no blockings. In Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. 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 Have a good time. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have Bishop come up. And we're going to have a great time today. Expect God to do something wonderful in your life today and every day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on up, Bishop. Come on. Glory good to morning. God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And happy, happy Sunday. Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday to all those who are there with us today. Happy Sunday to all those who are watching on Facebook Live. Happy, Monday for, uh, happy Sunday for all of those who will join us in, 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 in the different uh, 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 meetings that we have up there. Um, this is Sunday, and, and, and I've got some great news. Okay, uh, so so sometimes you just get some good news and things like that. But I got some great news this morning. Okay, okay because life happens. Life happens to us and things like that. Yeah, and we find ourselves in different struggles. Mm -hmm. But Paul Paul talked about something here, and I want to make sure that we get this and we take this into our service today, and we take it into our next week, and we keep it in our lives. He says, uh, and this is Romans uh, 7 and 16. He says, then, if then I do which I would not, I consent until, until the law, the law was good, okay? So, so he, he told me what I shouldn't do, and I understood that. He says, but I know that in my flesh there dwell no good thing, for to will is present for with me, but how to do it, mm -hmm. how to do it, yeah. I can't quite get there. Right. I kick out to I, I, I work and I try as hard as I possibly can, but I can't get there. For the good that I would do, <laughs> but I, I do not. Well, and the evil that I would not do, mm -hmm. then I do. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it. Right. I know what's wrong. I, I know what's bad, but I can't fix it myself. Mm -hmm. Now, if I do that, that, that I would not, it's no more me that does it, but the sin, mm -hmm. my sin nature yes. that dwells in me. I find a law then that, that, that when I would do good, it was present within me. Mm -hmm. For I delight in the law of the Lord. I, I, I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I, I accept him as my Savior. I accept him as my Lord. But I find myself fighting against myself all the time. And sometimes I don't win. Well, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I don't win. Come on now. But I believe in God. And, and, and I serve him with my whole heart. So what is the problem? Mm. For I delight in the law of the Lord of God yeah. after the inward man, but I see another law in well, my members warring against the, the, the law of my mind mm. and they're bringing me into captivity mm. of the law of sin, which is in my members. Right. Mm. So my mind and my body are fighting against each mm. other, and sometimes the body wins. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. the flesh. But, 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 but I love the Lord, and I want to serve him correctly, but I'm Finding myself, I find myself fighting here, and this is the good news. Stay with me here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wretched man that I am. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I understand. I understand myself as being wretched. I, I, I mourn. More blessed are those that mourn, okay? I look at myself and I say, oh my God, I try as hard as I can do. I want to serve you perfect. I want to walk up before you gladly, but this stuff is happening with me. I got no control over it. Help me, Father God. Yes. He says, I'm glad you asked that question. I'm glad you asked that question. I thank God a few the end. So it says that who, oh wretched man that I am, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of death? Who, who, who can deliver me? What can wash away my sin? Yes. Nothing. But the blood.
blood of Jesus. I thank God. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin, okay? So as long as I keep him in my mind, as long as I keep him in my heart, I keep his words before me, Mm -hmm. I walk away before him and I'm justified. I'm justified. So even my failures, as, 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 as I confess my failures, as I confess myself, if I say, Father God, I have no control over these things, but you are my God, you are my Lord. I lay myself before you. I lay myself at your mercy. Wash me, cleanse me, take all these things out of me, make me holy before you. And he said, Yea, son. All right, man. Yea, son. Yea, son. Yeah, son. Yeah. For that reason, I died. And for that reason, mm. therefore, mm -hmm. therefore, there is therefore now no, no, no. no condemnation, yes. none no. whatsoever, mm -hmm. and to those who are in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, for the law of the spirit mm. of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Yeah. Yep. Thank God. Yeah. I'm justified in him. Mm -hmm. But Satan says, yeah, 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 Brother Bill, but you did, but you did, but you did. As he stands before God, and then the Lord says, yeah, 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 but he belongs to me. Mm -hmm. My blood has washed him clean, and he is justified before me. And the Father mm -hmm. God says, all I see is the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ come before me, my son. Mm -hmm. Therefore, now there's no condemnation to you and to me and whoever it is who are in Christ Jesus, who have, who have agreed to die in him and be raised again. And oh, to live yeah. in this life. Praise God. No condemnation Amen. whatsoever Amen. to Amen. those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So live free. Live free. Live free. Live free. The God of the mountain is also the God of the valley. Yes. He knows us. He knows us. He knows everything that you are. So live free. Live free. Live free. If you fail, get up. Mm -hmm. If you get up, if you fall again, get back up again. Because he's still there. Amen. He's your God. Amen. And if you, yeah. if you have any questions about it, go back to Romans 8. Mm. Because there is, there, there is, therefore, because of all these things that we said, because of all eight chapters that we talked before you, because of everything that's happened in your life, because of the Lord Jesus Christ has died and has risen and his blood has justified you and you stand before God and so you are a brand new babe. Mm. There's therefore now no condemnation. To those who are in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who Amen. walk not after the flesh. I don't walk after the flesh. But after the spirit. Amen. 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 Live free. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank yeah. you for the mercies of this day. We thank you for the grace of the day. Mm -hmm. We thank you because your grace is brand new every single day. We woke up this morning and you looked at us on this day that you've made for us and you gave us grace to handle every single thing that was laid before us this day. And we thank you for it. We bless you for every single difficulty. We bless you for all those things because we understand that those things are for our perfection. And so we bless you for it. We bless you for it. And, and in all these things, we give thanks. Yes. Thank you, Father God, for your Thank mercy. You, Thank you for your grace. Mm. Thank you for this day that you've made. Yes, Lord. We will, we will rejoice uh -huh. and bless you and worship you in it. Yeah. Hey, I'm Pastor Lord Bill God. Templeton yeah. from Kingdom Life Ministries International mm. here in Elizabeth Town. Mm. And we welcome you Glory to our God. service this morning. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Yes. Good to be here this morning. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. Glory yes. to God. It's a yes. great time to it's be a great time. Uh, in the house of God. Yes. And to be with all of y'all today. Those of y'all joining with us here, yes. Facebook Live, glory to God. We welcome you. We yes. thank y'all for uh, just taking the opportunity to tune in um, uh, with our service this morning. Amen. Yes. yes. Um, as Pastor DeLillian said, we have some people that are out of town. Uh, Pastor Linda is out of town right now. We bless her wherever she is. Pastor Nusan uh, is out of town. Um, we bless him in his location. Um, then we have Pete and Mary who, um, I don't know if they're out of town. But they, they got work to do. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So, Amen. A lot going on. A lot yes. going on. We yes. thank God though. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father, we love you, we bless you, we thank you, mm -hmm. we glorify you, Father God. We just touch and agree with everything that has already been said, Lord God, everything that has already been done. 
Father, it's already done. It's already complete. It's already finished, Lord God. Uh, we're just uh, moving into the place where we're supposed to be according to your plan and your purpose. Yes. We bless you. We love you. We glorify and we thank you for today in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, if y'all would turn with me to uh, Nehemiah chapter 2. Mm. Uh, we've been on a series called Build It. Yes, sir. And some of our leaders have been sharing uh, on this same topic. And it's a vast topic. Um, yes, it and, and it applies uh, to several areas. One, it applies to what the Lord is doing. Uh, coming uh, post-Pentecost, yes. uh, the birth of the church, uh, we're believing that the Lord is building his church. Amen. 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 And all of us are living stones that fit in to the building of that church. The Bible also says yes. we are the body and we are many parts and many functions. So uh, you have to kind of uh, find out what is your part, what is your function, uh, what are you supposed to be doing. And so coming out of that part right there, uh, when it comes to building, uh, we, also, we know that the Lord is doing his work, but then he's doing his work in us, which also means that we have a part to play in this whole thing of building it as well. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes, sir. Amen. And, uh, and so Bishop brought last week uh, repairing the breach. Amen? Yes, sir. Uh, the breach is a military word uh, for something that has been broken, um, and you're repairing that or you're uh, establishing that or yes. reinforcing it Yes. So that the enemy cannot come in. So eventually, or what, what it seems that the enemy uh, has broken through in some area of our life. Amen? Yes. Yes. So we know that there are areas in our life that have been uh, broken uh, down. Yes. Uh, the enemy has broken into. The enemy has come in. And we understand that the Bible says that the enemy, his only purpose is to steal kill and destroy. Amen. amen. It's his purpose. He, he has a purpose. Amen. And his purpose is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yes. So he comes to steal from you whatever he can. Yes. What, whatever that area that has been broken down in your life, he comes to steal it. It Thank could you. be your health. It could be your joy. It could be your peace. It could yes. be your marriage. It could be your finances. He comes to steal those things, Thank amen, you, uh, he comes to destroy, that's his job, right. his job is to destroy, yes. what is he, yeah. he's destroying areas in your life as well, he's destroying or attempting to destroy your relationships uh, yes. with others, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship uh, uh, with people, family members, um, he wants to destroy your relationship with God. Yes. Amen. That's right. He, and, 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 he, and he's clever and, on how he does these things. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so he wants to steal, uh, he wants to destroy, and he wants to kill. So yes. his ultimate, his ultimate victory would be to take you out. Yes. Right. Amen. That would be the ultimate victory. Glory to God is to take you out. Yes. So, uh, as the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy, we find out that there are areas in our life that are broken down. They're breached. He's broken into. Yes. Yep. And a lot of these things, uh, you may have not even had fault in them. Yes. It could be that somebody else is the one that came in and the enemy used to break down those areas, to break down those relationships, to, to break down uh, those points of intimacy. Uh, the, the, the enemy is clever in how he does things. But I'm here to tell you that no matter what it looks like today, we have the victory. Amen? Yes, we do. Now, we got to work. You got to work to do. Amen? Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's a process, and, you know, so we teach the process. So uh, out of coming out of build it, uh, the, the overall theme is build it, purpose,
process and function. Yes. Okay? And we've been teaching these things. You're going to hear these things, though. It's kind of, it, it, it's repetitive, and it's repetitive in nature so that you can get it on the inside of you. Amen? So the more you hear it, the more you're going to understand it, the more we're going to be able to explain it to you, and the more you're going to get revelation of it, the more that you're going to be able to walk in it. Amen? Yes. So, uh, so build it. So one of the things about building it is my purpose. What is my purpose? Well, some people say, well, I, I you know, and, and this has been the ongoing thing uh, from a lot of believers that I, I've encountered. Is I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. And uh, I, here lately, the Lord has been showing me that it's not really that people don't know their purpose. What frightens people is the process. The yeah. process is the hard part, okay? Yeah, right. So the process is the part where yeah. I actually have to do something. Right. Amen? Well. And as believers, we're lazy. Mm. Okay? Yeah. We're, we're, we're lazy. We, we don't want to put the work in. We don't want to do what it takes in order for us to have that victory. Yeah. And so when it comes to purpose, what I believe, I believe that people actually have an understanding of what their purpose is. There's some, so if you go to bed at night and there's something on your mind and you wake up in the morning and there's something in your mind or throughout the day something comes and it's, uh, it, it's re-sounding uh, uh, in your mind or in your spirit, eventually you're going to come to the conclusion is that that might be what I need to be doing. Yes. Okay, yeah. that might be uh, years, 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 years ago, and I say years ago, um, Pastor DeLillian and I wanted to help educate people. We wanted to work with people. We wanted to help them. So we went to these places to volunteer. So, so we volunteered for the uh, Women and Children Abuse Center, amen, because mm -hmm. we thought, well, you know what, we can help women. Uh, uh, by by um, uh, encouraging them, by educating them, by by telling them you don't need to be in these abusive relationships, and uh, and and so we thought, okay, well, we can do it that way. And then we we thought, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and and we're gonna uh, work uh, for JDAC, okay, and we're going to uh, educate people on AIDS and HIV prevention. And so we would go, uh, uh, so we went through all the training and, and went through all these things. And then we would go to these meetings and we would hold these meetings at different places. And uh, eventually they let Pastor Dylan and myself go and hold our own meetings. And, and so what we're doing is we're educating uh, people on HIV and AIDS prevention. So we had this thing on the inside of us that we wanted to help educate people. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We wanted to help educate people. Yes. And so we were going through a process. Mm -hmm. But it took work. Right. It took dedication. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. It took uh, uh, studying. It took learning. It took uh, uh, being in classes where people were educating us and, and mentoring us and teaching us uh, all these different facets to, to prevention yes. and, and, and the outcome of the disease itself and how it affects the body and how it affects people and relationships. And, and so, we went, I'm, so I'm sharing this with you to let you know is that we were discovering our purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. That's all yes. we were doing. Right. We were discovering our purpose. So we went through these other avenues. We, we, we went through these other programs trying to develop our purpose. But the purpose was... We wanted to help educate people and train people. Right. right. That was the purpose. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. And so, and, and, and so that was on the inside. Now we didn't understand how to get it done. Mm -hmm. yep. All we were doing was moving in different directions, trying to develop our purpose using the process. Yes. Right. Amen. Y'all with me today. Oh, yeah. So process is really, really key. Okay. Process is key. 
believers don't want to put the work in the process to develop their purpose. Mm. Right. Amen. Amen. It's work. Yeah. It's I'm right. telling you, it is work. Right. And we and, and and that's the part that believers fail at. Mm. They fail at because guess what? See, the Bible teaches us a couple of different things here. The mm -hmm. Bible teaches us is that before you build the house, you need to count the cost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Bible teaches us if I'm gonna go and I'm gonna plow the field, then I don't have the right to look back because if I begin to look back, the Bible says. I'm not worthy of the kingdom of God. True. Right. Amen. Amen. So, so what, it, what it's saying is that before you begin to do it, before you begin to develop your purpose, you. you have to understand the process. Yes. And the process is going to cost you something. Yes. Amen. Yes. The process is going to cost you time. The process yes. is going to cost you energy. The yes. process is going to cost you money. The yes. process is going to cause you to sacrifice things in your life that you don't want to sacrifice. Yes. Right. It's the process. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. And so when I begin to look at the purpose and the process, now comes the other part and it's function. Okay? Mm -hmm. How is this thing functioning? How is this thing working? Is it doing what I intended for it to do? So what we found out years later is that we were working through this process, but the ultimate purpose was God really was trying to lead us into preaching and teaching the Word of God Amen. and helping people that way. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 So, the, so the purpose and the process and the function, the function worked for that time being. Right. Yes. But that was not the fulfillment. Mm. There was still more that needed to be done. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the, pro the, the the issue is I had to work the process in order for it to get to the point where it's functional. Right. Yeah. And so when we came down to actually working in the ministry, we came down to what the Lord says, I want you to train my people to do the work of the ministry. Right. Amen. Right. Right. So when I look at it and I begin to put all these pieces together, I can still, through the gospel, through the good news, the word of God, we can still help educated, educate women not to be in abusive relationships. Right. Y'all yeah. with me today? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We can still help educate people yeah. not to indulge in sexual activities right. that can cause you to catch something, yeah. amen, yes. that you might not ever get rid of for the rest right. of your life. Right. Yes. Right. Are y'all y'all with me? Yeah. So, right. so these were just areas that we were exploring, trying to fulfill our purpose through the process so that it becomes functional. <laughs> yes. Well, when we came down to it and we found the Word of God, we said, well, the Word of God encompasses all these things Amen. all together. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? Yes, sir. Which, which means, okay, hey, I can still always go back mm -hmm. and I can still minister to families that are broken and abused situations. We can still do that. We can still uh, <laughs> minister to people about sex education. Right. We can still Amen. do that. At the same time, we can still... Preach the word of God to them. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And teach them what the word says. Yes. So, in this whole theme of build it, okay, <laughs> this whole theme of, 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 of making up the hedge, of, of protecting who you are, number one, you have to find out what are the areas in my life that are broken, yes. that have been breached that I need to apply extra work to in order so that I can become the functional man or woman of God, achieving my purpose, utilizing the process. Yes. Okay? Y'all yes. with me? Yes. So, 
I'm going to take you to Nehemiah chapter 2. Yes. Amen. Okay? And if you give me about 15 minutes, I'm going to wrap it. this thing up, okay? Take Don't mean time. that I'm finished with it. Yes, sir. Take because I know this. I know that I can't give you all of this. So that you can walk away with a full understanding. You'll never have a full understanding of this because I don't have a full understanding of it. And I've been studying this and pondering this and looking at this and reading this. And I still don't have a full understanding because what happens is that the Lord gives us bits and pieces so that we can build on it. Amen. Yes. He did not give you the full finish of your life. He gave you a process so that you can have bits and pieces to put the puzzle together so that you can just achieve one area of your life. And guess what? Now i got to work on another area of my life. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So at the same time that the Lord is building his bride, his church, his, his body, at the same time he's doing that, he's also building you at the same process, using the same scenario. I want to build you. I want to make you complete. I want to make you functional. I want you to understand your purpose. I want you to understand the process so that when I put you in the place where you're supposed to be, you can function and operate yes. in the way you've been designed. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, if you sit down and try to grasp all this at one time, you're going to make your head hurt because it, 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 it's just it's a, it's a lot of information. It's a lot of detail. It's a lot of detail. This thing is bigger than just standing up here and saying, build it. Okay? It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. We're building every day. Amen. I, I hope you understand. We're building something every day. Every day, something. God is building something inside of me. I'm building something inside of you. God is building something inside of me. So that I could build something inside of you. And this thing is vast. It's vast. It, could, it could be a, a broken down relationship. It could be a broken down marriage. It could be bro you're broken down in your body. It could be you're broken down emotionally. It could be bro you're broken down in your mind. It, it could be bro you're broken down in finances. Your health can be broken down. All these areas that we are trying to fortify. That we're trying to fix the breaks. The things that have been broken. This is what God is calling us to do. <clears throat> this is what this is the work. It's the work. And I know people say, well, I just name it and claim it. Well, glory to God for that. Amen. But I also know that I name it and I claim it and I work on it. <laughs> Amen. Okay. I'm I, I, I can't say, Lord, make me prosperous and wealthy. And, and, and financially stable and sit at home. Y'all yeah. well, right. <laughs> follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got to do something, amen? Yeah. I got to do course. something, right? People say, well, Ray, when are you going to retire? I said, the day I die. Now, right now. <laughs> okay, the day I die. When I die, I will retire. Amen. Until that time, yeah. I'm getting up every morning, exactly. 5 o'clock, I'm getting a shower, I'm getting dressed, I'm talking to the Lord, I'm preparing my day, I'm going out, and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing every day. It's a, I'm building something, I'm building it, but I'm using the process to build it. And then, once I get there, now i got to work on how is it functioning. Okay? Yes. See, here's the thing. And we were talking about this yesterday in our men's meeting. I'm getting to Nehemiah. Just hold on. I'm getting to Nehemiah. <laughs> uh, uh, here's what we were talking about. Yeah, we were talking about, uh, I, I use Brother Robert as, 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 as my uh, scapegoat. Um, <laughs> because, uh, you know, he has this, this real nice, up-to-date, brand-new Harley Davidson. Mm. Okay? And he rides this thing up and down the highways and stuff. And I said, I said, well, if Brother Robert heard something that didn't sound right or felt something that didn't feel right, he knew that that thing was not functioning the way it's supposed to function. Yes. Mm -hmm. So immediately he wants to take it into the shop and he wants to get it checked out. Amen? Amen. Yes. Well, why is it? You tell me. Why is it? that we can be so detailed about things that we own versus being that detailed 
about me, my life, my relationship with God, and what he's called me to do. Yes. But I'm detailed about all these other things. Yes. I'm detailed about all those other things. And I'm talking to myself too because there's still areas in my life that I know that I need to pay more attention to so that they can function better. Yes. And I'm not saying that we're going to achieve it all at one time, but what I'm saying is that I'm working the working process. On working on it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So yes. that it's functioning better today yes, than it did yesterday. Yes, sir. Yep. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right. In the military, we call it PCS, Preventive, peace, preventive Check Services and Maintenance, okay? It means we, we pull maintenance on our equipment every day. Yes, sir. Every day. Every day we were firing up our equipment. Every day we were checking our equipment. Every week we were drawing our weapons out and clear whether we fired them or not. Every day we were doing this stuff. Every day. There was some type of maintenance taking place so that when I actually had to use that piece of equipment, I wanted to function and operate the way it was designed. Right. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Bishop used this analogy. I had to do the maintenance on the ground for these airplanes so that when they're flying at 35,000 feet, they don't have a mishap. Yes, right. Right. Okay. Yes, There's a whole crew that's the uh, that 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 is uh, um what's the word I'm looking for relying on me to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing while that piece of equipment is on the ground. Yes, sir. Because yes. once it gets up in the air, I can't do nothing about it. No. It's up to them. Bring that thing down yes, sir. as safely as possible. Amen? So, Nehemiah chapter 2, it says this, and starting in verse 9. And, and so let me give you a little background on Nehemiah. We know Nehemiah. Nehemiah was the one that was tasked by God to go and to rebuild and reestablish the walls of the city of Jerusalem and also to organize the people. Amen? So a lot of times, your task is not just to rebuild something but your task can have multiple purposes to it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he was tasked to rebuild the wall, but at the same time, he was also tasked to reestablish and to encourage the people that were living in the city. Yes. Your job is not why God wants to get you there. It's not just for you. He wants to get you there because you have other people to assist to get to where God wants them to be. Right, yes, right, yes. right, right. It's bigger than you. Amen. Bigger than you. Yes. Amen. Yeah. See, we think, oh, it's just about me. It's just about, no, it ain't just about you. Well, God has a bigger plan. Yeah, it does. And so Nehemiah was tasked to go to this city. And to rebuild the walls, but at the same time, he had to reestablish the people. He had to encourage the people. He had to speak life to the people. He had to assemble the people. He had to pull the people together. He had to task the people out to do certain work at the same time. He was assembling an army, putting an army together, because not only are we rebuilding the walls, but we got to protect the walls too. Right. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Amen? Yes. And so, and so, uh, but then there's other parts to it. Other parts is that he already had a job. Mm -hmm. Amen? He already had a job, which means he had to go to his boss and say, hey, this is what's <laughs> happening. Okay? Which means he had to have a relationship with those that were going to be able to finance the work of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? I believe that God is going to bring people into our path that is going to help us finance the work that he has called us to do. It's an absolute fact. Amen? Yes, sir. So he had to go to his boss. He said, hey, I got to do this, you know, but at the same time, can you help me with this? Can you give me some letters? I need some lumber. I need, I need, I need, I need an escort. I need something. Can, can you help me? Yes. And the king said, yes, I can. Amen. Because we have a relationship. 
Yes. Amen. Amen. We have a relationship. Amen. And so here's the thing. We're praying God uh, send the money from heaven. God release the finances. And God is saying, man, the finances are already there. I'm just put, trying to put you in connection with the people that have the finances. Amen. 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 It's already here. Glory to God. Stuff ain't going to fall from heaven. Yeah, it's already here. It's yeah. already here. Everything yes, we have is already here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Right now. So, uh, so that's just a little background, Nehemiah. You go back and read Nehemiah 1. I'm starting in 2, verse 9. And uh, it says, Then I came to the governor beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. Yes. When Sanballat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant of the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, hey, let, me, let me tell you something. I don't care what your task to do. Absolutely. I don't care what your purpose is. Yeah. It does not matter. There will always be opposition in your life. Right. 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 Yes, Amen. Yeah. There will always be opposition. And I'm here to tell you as believers... Sometimes our worst enemy is ourselves. Mm. Oh, yeah. We, we're our worst enemies, okay? I ain't got, look, let me tell you, as most believers, I don't have to wait on somebody to tell me no. I've already told myself no. Amen? Amen. I've already told myself, well, God can't do it for me. He might be able to do it for you. But he can't do it for me. But why? Because you don't know where I came from. You don't know my past. You don't know what I did. You don't know the terrible, ugly things that I did in my life. You don't know that. And so we wash ourselves out before we even give the person an opportunity to say, now I tell people all the time, I say, man, apply for the job, apply for the job, apply for the job. Well, I'm not qualified. Well, let them tell you you're not qualified. <laughs> Let them tell you you're not qualified. Yes. Why are you going to tell yourself you're not qualified? You don't know that God has already prepared the hearts of the king right. that you may be exalted because God has already stirred them to give you the job, whether you're qualified or not. Who right, cares? Right. That's right. Exactly right. It doesn't matter. No, that's right. but you, you can sell yourself short if you want to, but I'm telling you now, let them tell you no. I am I, no longer in the business of counting myself out. No. Right. right. Amen. Verse 11. <laughs> so I came to Jer Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose the night. And I and, so, and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me. Save the beast that I rode. So here's, here's, here's another key. So these are people that are with Nehemiah. Okay? You got a few men that are with him. He didn't even tell them what God had called him to do. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a lesson there. Okay? Because just because you think that these people are with me and these people have been with me and these people say they love me and these people say they care about me. Guess what? Those will be the same people that will be the ones to discourage you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, sir. They'll be the, they'll, they'll be the exact ones that will be like, oh, come on now. You can't do this and you can't do that. And, uh, you know, did God really say? Okay. Did God really say you can't touch nor eat? Okay. Did God really say that to you? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're going to have them people around you that are going to be just like that. Amen. Amen. Take Joseph. Joseph. Okay. He said, hey, this is what God showed me. I had a dream. Y'all going to bow down and worship me. Really? That ain't going to happen. <laughs> Spend my life yeah. Sure yeah, that ain't going to happen. As a matter of fact, now we want to help get rid of you <laughs> so that it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. So watch 
who you say what to. Yes. Amen. Verse 13. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. So we see the work. See the work. The process. Amen. See the process. So God spoke to him. God says what you got to do. Now I'm here. Now the process begins. The work begins. I got to go out. I got to examine. I got to do a recon. I got to check things out and see the extent of the damage to see the work that needs to be done in order to rebuild and reestablish these areas. That's the part where faith comes by hearing. But I'll show you my faith by my works. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. I'll show you my faith by works. Literally, I will show you my faith by works. Because some people said we'll never be able to accomplish this. Some people said we wouldn't last 16 years here. Some people said we should have already been shut down and gone. Yes. Amen? <laughs> but you know what? Still here. We're still here. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yes. We're still. I'll show you my faith by my works. Amen. Yes. I will show up. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And I'll yes. preach. <laughs> and I'll teach the word of God. I will show you. Yes. You give me that opportunity. You'll see something. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Verse 14. Then I went on the gate of the fountain and to the king's pool. But there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up into the night by the brook and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whether I went or what I did. Neither had I yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Amen. He ain't give them a whole lot of information, okay? Remember, he gave them no information, amen? Some things is classified as secret, amen? Need to know. Need to know. You don't need to know, I'm not going to tell you, okay? Glory to God. And so, when we look at this, man, and, and, and I'm just giving you an overview. There's so much information that you can extract from here, okay? Every little part, every little detail, there's a message in here, okay? For instance, there was not a place for me and my beast to go through, okay? Uh, so I had to find another direction. Are y'all with me? Okay, I can't go here. Even though I'm heading in this direction, the Lord said, I want you to go in this direction, but I get to this direction, and I get to a certain place, I can't go no further. Well, what am I supposed to do? <coughs> am I supposed to just stand here and wait? No. I got to find another direction. Amen. I got to find another way. But I'm getting in there. Okay? That's the bottom line. Okay? I don't care if I can't make it here. There's another way for me to get in there. Amen? I'm going into this place. There's so many details in here. So much detail that... that I can't give it all to you. Amen. <laughs> then said I unto, unto them, yes. you see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lie waste and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build the wall of Jerusalem that we may be no more a reproach. Okay. So we know that he's talking about this physical wall, right? We understand that. But because of this wall, now my whole city is in reproach. Okay? My whole city is open. My whole city is devastated. My whole city is being laughed at and scorned because of the walls being broken down. Now I'm a reproach to the, those that see me. Well, how does that apply to you? Okay? Why? Why? Because we have to fortify ourselves. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to fortify myself. I can't have no blind areas. I can't have 
no open areas. I can't have no weaknesses. I can't have those things exposed because now those that come along, they're going to look at you as a reproach. Yes, sir. Because there's areas in our lives. Amen. Amen. And I'm not saying you won't fix it all today. Glory to God. But I will say this. Every area in your life that you know of that is broken, needs to be repaired, is a problem or is an issue, I will encourage you every day get up and give those areas to God. Yes. All right. Okay? There you go. If they're in his hands, he can do more with them than being in my hands. Yes, sir. Because they've been in my hands for 62 years. And guess what? I ain't been able to do nothing with them. So if I give them to the one that's able to fix it, yes. change it, turn it around, yes. and accomplish it, then hey, he's the one. Yes, sir. You're still trying to fix something that you ain't been able to fix for 30 years, and you're still saying, I can fix it. You can't fix it. If you ain't fixed it yet, you're not going to be able to. So you might as well get up every day and say, Lord, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. It's yours. It ain't mine no more. It's yours. I'm yours. The problems I have are yours. Hey, you got to fix it. Because if you don't fix it, it ain't going to get done. Amen. 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 Excellent. Y'all got to work on this thing. Glory to God. See, see, that's the process. Are y'all now seeing a little bit more of the process? This is the process, purpose, process, function. Thank so you. once I can get these areas out of my yeah. life, doesn't mean that I'm not going to struggle with them, but I'm getting them out of my life and I'm giving them to the Lord. Now I'm able to function better than I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> Verse 18. Got it. Yes. Then I told them, of the hand of God which was good upon me. Glory to God. Amen. As also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this work was good. Yes. Amen. 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 Right. Then I told them of the hand of God that was good upon me. Yes. Yes. In other words, you can say it like we use it today. Well, the Lord spoke to me to do this. Or the Lord said, let's do this. Or the Lord said, let's do this. What is he doing? He's encouraging the people. And he's saying, look, I'm not coming in here under my own mandate. I'm coming here because God told me this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know we got a lot of people that are doing their own thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they're doing it under their statement, the Lord told me to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. If the Lord, here's the thing, if the Lord told you to do it, he's going to give you some backup to do it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. In other words, if he told you to do it, he's going to support what he told you to do. Yes. Right. Amen. In other words, another way of putting this is that if God told me to do it, he's going to give me the resources. He's going to give me right. the favor. Yeah, really he's right. going to give me the goods. Yeah, he's yeah. going to give me the plenty. He's going to give me the more than enough. He's going to give me the yeah. ability. He's going to give me the mindset. He's going to give me the oath that I need to accomplish what he's called me to do. Y'all with me today? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes absolutely. In other Thank words, you. you're not on your own no more. Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank you. Understand your purpose. Do this. Work the process. And watch how it functions. Yes. And then he said, and they said, now, look, he had already told him, okay, look. This is what, it's, what the, the Lord spoke to the, 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 the hand of God is, uh, is good upon me. And the king, he has endorsed what I said. And also the king's words that he had spoke unto me. Amen. You say, well, well hold, on, hold on, hold on, how does that tie in? Well, here's the thing. What he's doing there is he's giving them something spiritual, but he's also giving them something natural. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. See, there's a lot of things that you're going to do that are spiritual, but they're in the natural. 
It's like having God's ability on top of my ability, which now becomes supernatural Amen. that allows me to make it happen. Amen. 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 So what was the supernatural? Well, the supernatural was that Nehemiah had already prayed in chapter 1, and he had favor with the king, and the king encouraged him, go and do what you're supposed to do. And also, not are you going to go and do what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to support what you're supposed to be doing. I don't even believe in your God. Yes. Okay? I don't even believe in your God. I got another God. But because you're coming to me and God has already moved me, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and give you favor. I'm going to let you go. Take as long as you need to get it done. There you go. And then I'm going to give you money and I'm going to give you papers and I'm going to give you an army and captains that yeah. they're going to escort you and they're going to be with you and they're going to make sure you get there and make sure you get back. <laughs> Supernatural favor of God. Amen. Have it. And they said, let us, they said, now nah, after they heard all this, okay, and I don't know how long all this took. He might have preached to them for two days. I don't know. But at the end of it, they said, let us rise up and build. Yes. So they strengthen their hands for this good work. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Let us rise up and build. Mm -hmm. Let us rise up and build. <coughs> Let us rise up and build. But you have to have the want to want to do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And they said, they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthen their hand. Yes. They yes. encourage themselves. Yes. They said we can do this. Yes. They, through whatever what was said during that time, their faith had now risen up on the in, on the inside of them, and they said, "Let's go do this work. Yeah. Let's get, it's a good work. Amen. Okay, let's we're gonna go do a good work." Yes. So I leave you with this today. Thank you. Just a glimpse of what the Lord is showing us here. Rise up and build. Thank you. Build. Build. You said build what? Build what? If you got to build yourself up in your faith, you got to do something. If you got to build up your home, build it. If you got to build up your finances, build it. If you got to build up your health, build it. But you got to do something. You just cannot do nothing. Amen. You have to get up. You have to accomplish. You have to fulfill what God's called you to do. The Bible says that when we get to heaven, that he's going to wipe away all our tears. I truly believe that the only reason we're going to be weeping in heaven is because we did not fulfill what we were supposed to fulfill on earth. Amen. Amen. I believe we're going to get there and the Lord's going to show us all these things that we should have done and all these things that we should have accomplished and all these people that we should have ministered to and all these places that we should have been and how we should have lived. I believe God's going to show us all those things and that alone is going to break our hearts because there was so much more that we should have done. Yes. But he said, be of good cheer. Yes. And he says, he'll wipe the tears away from our eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Right. Are y'all encouraged? Amen. Y'all yeah. get up and build something? So good. Glory to God. God some of y'all say yes, some of y'all ain't say nothing. Glory <laughs> to God. Come on now. We're going to get up. We're going to build. I don't care what it is. So minister, build your ministry. You say, where do I start? Right where you are. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I ain't got to go. I ain't got to go no further. Glory to God! You got all the technology. You got all the phones. Got got everything you need. Man, I'll, I can start a Bible study if I wanted to. I can do a Bible study seven days a week if I wanted to. Yes. Amen. So can y'all. Yes. Y'all can do these things. Amen. Those of y'all watching, get up and build something. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Love y'all. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Build something. Hallelujah. Great word. Amen. Great word. Great word. Uh, uh, Pastor Ray is talking about the process and everything. And, you know, yes, we did. We did a whole lot of teaching, a lot of training. Pastor Ray was a drill sergeant, so he trained. I used to uh, 
teach and coach cheerleading and do all kind of things. And I was a squad leader teaching. Didn't know that this was going to be the end game. Amen. So, yes, we have to do some things. I said, Pastor Ray, this message just says, don't let the process mm. pluck you out from the promise or the prize. Uh, yeah, I got that. You got that? Exactly. Don't let the process, the trial and errors, the things that you go through, don't let that punk you out to get the promise or the prize that yeah. God has for you. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And then it made me think of Romans 8, 28. It says, we know that all things all works together yeah. for good for those that are called. Amen? Uh, uh, and who are loved and are called according to his purpose. Purpose. Amen? Purpose. Yeah. God has a plan for us all. Yes, Amen? Yeah. We need yeah. to be doing something. Pastor Ray says it all the time. It's easier to steer or guide a rolling car mm. than a parked car. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Take your brakes off. Take your part break off. Come on, y'all. We need to be rolling. Amen? Rolling. Yeah. We need to be rolling. Yeah. We got to have a plan. We have to have a purpose. God's already put it in us, mm -hmm. and he'll work it all out. Yes. If you don't know what to do, do something. Yeah. Do something. Yes. Do something for the glory of God. God will work it out and guide you. Mm -hmm. I got Sister Helen here. I'm going to give this quick. Sister Helen, 83? Mm, 81. 81. Glory to God. She goes to a nursing home for physical therapy, ends up encouraging the women there, oh, encouraging amen. the staff, encouraging. So wherever you are, yes. bloom where you're planted. It doesn't matter where you are. It's what you're going to do. That's what it. are you going to do? Make a difference. God's called us to be that, that, that ripple in the water mm. that's making a difference. Amen. Mm. You don't want to spend your life on this earth not fulfilling what God has for you and not making a difference in somebody's life. Amen? So glory to God, that's what we want to leave you with today. Don't let the process punk you out of the plan, the purpose, the prize that God has for you. Amen. And we thank you today for joining in to Kingdom Life Ministries International. Next week is Father's Day. We yeah. give God all the glory for being Abba, Father in our life. Say, Abba. Abba. We love you. Love you. Glory to God. He is truly the God of gods and our friend and our heavenly father. And as you honor the men in your lives this week, amen, could be your brother, your nephew, your uncle, honor the brothers, amen. They don't all have to produce a child. But if they're making a difference in somebody's life, honor them, yes, call sir. them, yes. let them know that they've affected your life or they're affecting someone else's life. It might not be your life. You might see them doing something in somebody else's life and say, hey, it's like building those walls. You're encouraging them. Amen. Amen. You're telling them, I see what you're doing with those kids over there. I see what you're doing in your family. I want to encourage you. You're looking good. Keep it up. Amen. Yeah. So we honor you and we thank you for joining in today. We pray that you are affecting someone's life. I'm telling you, don't let the purpose escape, mess you up because you are going through. I'm going to give you this one. Pastor Ray and I have been doing this for 16 years. And sometimes our population here at the church goes up and down, up and down. Sometimes it seems like we're the only ones here. But I'm telling you, I, I'll say to Pastor Ray, I'm true, true life here. I'm like, Pastor, is, is this what God wants us to do? Are we still supposed to be here? He said, God hadn't told me anything else. So this is what we're going to do. So Pastor Ray and I are living examples of, hey, God has not given us another directive. So this is what we're going to do until we get the directive. Amen. Amen. So don't be let that discourage you. Do what God's called you to, to do until he tells you otherwise. Everybody say amen. amen. So Father God, we thank you for this time and this day. We thank you, Father yes. God, for the opportunity to hear your word. May we apply it to our lives and grow on it. May we meditate on it. May we prepare ourselves as we encourage ourselves according to Nehemiah because the next verse says that the, the haters show up. Mm -hmm. Father God, may we build ourselves up in our most, most holy faith to do what you've called us to do. And may we keep our purpose in line with your will and what you have for us. Until we meet again, 
We praise God for you, and we're going to go out with a cheer. Amen. I call it a cheer. Y'all say a shout. Whatever it is, glory to God. We're going to uh, yell the name of Jesus three times. One, two, ready, go. Jesus, Jesus.